Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Orange Blossom from Penhaligons. So if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep watching. Now this fragrance has been around since 1976, so it's about... I'd say it's pretty close to 43 years old at this point. It's definitely been around the block, um, but that doesn't make it bad. It doesn't make it dated. Um, it's actually quite a beautiful, refreshing, youthful type fragrance, which is spectacular. Um, I love orange blossom fragrances living in the state of Florida. It's definitely something I am very accustomed to and love so, so much. So let's get into the notes because although this is an orange blossom fragrance, it does have a lot going into this mix. The top notes are neroli, a violet leaf, bergamot, lemon, cardamom, and pink berries. At the heart or the uh, middle notes, you're going to have orange absolute, Egyptian jasmine, tuberose, rose, peach flower, and orchid. And your base notes are going to be sandalwood, cedar, white musk, and vanilla. There's a lot going on in this fragrance, but when you smell it, it's very effortless. And that's what really drew me to this fragrance and made it one of my favorites from Penhaligans in a whole and one of my favorite orange blossom predominant fragrances in general. There's something really slightly creamy about this fragrance. There's something really bright and youthful and playful about this fragrance. While at the same time, it has a nice bit of complexity and maturity to it to not make it smell like you're just rubbing orange oil or orange essence or orange orange blossom essence or neroli um, essence oil on your body. But, you know, I'm getting tongue-tied. Please forgive me. But, you know, some people, when they think about Orange Blossom, they'll go and they'll just get, like, a little perfume oil roll. And those smell really, really good. And I have a few different fragrances like that that I love. So I'm not knocking it. But when we're talking about this fragrance, it has a lot going on in it. But you never lose the beauty of the Orange Blossom. That sweet, floral, light, sparkly, but still rich and creamy, um note that it has. It's really, really beautiful. And I love how every single one of the other notes in this is literally just elevating this and helping make this fragrance a beautiful juice that works well in a lot of different occasions. It's really easy for orange blossom to smell casual. It's really easy for orange blossom to smell cheap. And it's also really for orange blossom to smell dated especially when you're thinking about a fragrance that was created in 1976. But the cedar in this and the musk in this just give it a beautiful bit of maturity that makes it a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more elegant. And all the other notes play together beautifully to elevate the neroli note. So it's really quite a stunning and well-balanced fragrance while still being very effortless. It's bright and sparkly and creamy on the skin, um, and as it wears down, it becomes a little bit more warm and a little bit more sweet. And just everything about this fragrance just plays together perfectly with everybody else. There's not a note out of place. And that's what I like most about this fragrance, is the fact that it is so effortless, it is so easy, but there's still a silent sophistication about it, while still having this beautiful, playful, orange blossom fragrance in its opening and at its heart. So I really love this fragrance. It's been fantastic for the summer. It's been fantastic in the hot months and it just makes me smile. So I do really love this one a lot. The only issue I really have with it is in its longevity and projection. Um, fragrances like this that tend to be heavier on the orange blossom on my skin don't really last too long. I get about four hours of wear with this, which is nice, but I wish I got closer to six. Um, the projection of this isn't bad, actually. It projects about a little past uh, your fingertips, but it only projects for about an hour, and then it kind of just swoops in and becomes really intimate. So it doesn't project for a very long period of time, but it does project for enough. So I feel like if you wanted to wear this fragrance to make an impact, to fill a room, this isn't the type of fragrance for that. But if you're looking to smell really nice and pretty and youthful and playful and floral and sophisticated, this is a great fragrance to check out. And because the, um, the projection kind of only lasts for about an hour, maybe two hours if I'm being generous, 
this fragrance is more appropriate for the office and the classroom, so you could wear this to work, the theater, an interview, or any professional environment. Overall, aside from the little hiccup of longevity and projection, if those are two things that you really care about when it comes to fragrances like this, I feel that this is an absolutely beautiful, underappreciated orange blossom fragrance that definitely deserves more love and respect. I think it's beautiful, creamy, playful, youthful, uh, definitely unisex, and there's just something about it that's just very effortlessly chic and sophisticated while being very easy and just pleasant and fun to wear. Um, it's one of the fragrances that puts a smile on my face, like I said earlier, and it's definitely one that I would repurchase when I use through this bottle, because I know I will be, because I've been wearing this so frequently, because it's so hot, because it's so humid, and it's just so beautiful in this environment. So I really, really love it, and I'd love for you guys to at least sample it and try it yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, guys, if you like my fragrance reviews or my channel in general, fragrance videos, reviews, things like this, Penn Halligan's reviews, uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Because it's free. And I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In the case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.